Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, web view. And in web view, we're going to create a IB outlet for a UI web view web page. We call this um, this pointer variable a web page. And notice that this is a uh, pointer variable, and that's what the star is. And the pointer type is for a UI web view object. All right. So, um, and we'll do the same thing for the map view. We're going to declare a Um, uh, MK map view um, uh, sorry IB outlet IB outlet B out let MK map view um, we'll call this um, our map simply okay now if you do this you might notice that this is not purple okay uh, usually that tells you that something's wrong now the thing is, is what I did um, I had to redo this video and um, uh, in order to f you if you do a map view you have to import the um, map kit to make sure that this will build okay let's rebuild that and we have an error. And the error. Oh, did put a star here. I do. I've done this several times here. It gives you. I mean, look at this error. Look at this. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Statically allocated instance of object C class. It's ugly. Anyway, we're going to make sure this is a uh, pointer type. And uh, it compiled. And now we go back to um, open up our zip file. And then we're going to connect our views. So we go back to our views here, um, our view controllers. And notice now that we have the, the um, in the web view, we have the, uh, sorry, uh, in the web view controller, we have the web page outlet. And under our map view controller, we have the map outlet. So what we'll do is we're going to connect the uh, web page um, outlet to the uh, UI web view. So you can connect it here or you can connect it here. Either one it does, it's the same thing. So, um, and again, we do the same thing for uh, first MK map view. We go to the um, uh, so here the um, map view controller is selected, which is this, and uh, we can drag the map outlet to either the map view here or map view there. Either one is fine. Okay, so now those are connected, and now what we're going to do is Command Q for quitting and saving the zip file, and now what we want to do is um, Command Shift R. to open up the debugger console and command R to run the program. <clears throat> and let's see what happens. Ooh, we get a error. All right. Um, terminated app due to uncaught exception. NS invalid unarchived operations exception. Reason, the NS key unarchiver decode object for key cannot decode object for class MK map view. Hmm. All right, so um, I did this on purpose. I know what the problem is. Um, the problem is, is that um, the map kit view that we're importing doesn't have a framework to import it from. So um, now you might have this as a default, but I normally this is not going to be, uh, you have to add this framework in order to use the map kit view. So what you do is you add, uh, I mean, uh, do a right click under frameworks, add, and ex add existing framework, okay? Under frameworks, you uh, select the map kit framework, 
Now, in my case, this wasn't, and when I originally did this, this wasn't available. So what you could do here is do map kit and um, do the latest date uh, and pick the most recent map kit dot framework. All right. Or if it's already in available, then um, uh, pick it out of the, your um, presented uh, frameworks. All right. So just pick that and add. And uh, there's no other, just uh, say add. And now the MapKit framework is added as part of your Xcode project. Again, we'll do Command B for build, which includes a save all. Command Shift R for the debugger. We clear this log and Command R to run the program. Stop ex execution because we had it already up and running. We I'm going to stop and restart it. And here we are. Okay, so and here's the map. So the map view is uh, available to you, and uh, but the web view is still empty. Okay, so the nice thing is about a map uh, view <coughs> is. Um, close this, is for to do a map view, all you have to do is to de declare the IB outlet and MK map view. You do not have to implement any commands. Um, the default map will be presented as you just saw. Um, you, as far as doing more uh, map functions, we'll cover that in a different uh, in a different tutorial. But for the web view, this is uh, not enough. You also have to tell in the web view controller, the web view controller has to say, hey, um, load a web page and you have to give a URL. Well, how do you do this in Xcode? And to be honest with you, this is a little bit Byzantine. So if you see this code, you might go, oh my guide, what is, what is that? It is ugly. Um, but um, I will uh, uh, address that. So what you want to uh, implement is a function called uh, awake from nib. Okay, and what this does is um, awake from nib is a um, As part of the NS object, um, is a method uh, uh, under NS object which uh, prepares the receiver after it has been loaded from an interface builder archive or NIB file. So, um, this is an NS object US UI kit additions reference or uh, an addition, and um, that's what that is. And you can read about it in um, uh, uh, in the um, uh, references. And again, the way you always do this is uh, double click on that, right click API references, and you can pause and read up on that. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to call a method on our uh, uh, web page object, okay, which is web page. And now what we want to do is the web page is a UI web view object, all right? It's not instantiated here. It's instantiated over here in the zip file, but um, and it's connected. This this variable is connected to the object in the in the in the zip file. But in order to get a reference on this uh, UI web view, notice that one of the um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, one of the the um, methods you can call on a UI web view is um, is a a, a request, where is it? It was just here a second ago. Uh, a load request, okay? And uh, a load request has that format. So basically, a load request will, um, uh, the method requires an NSURL request, okay? And it, to be honest with you, this gets, this gets kind of weird, but heck, that's the way, that's the way uh, this is, we're rolling here.